Now, if you're watching this, I'm going to assume that you want to create a digital product. Maybe you want to you know, build an app or create an online course or a coaching program or maybe a community. Um, that's wonderful, but remember, there are a million of other folks who want to do the same thing, you know? Uh, there's a lot of competition. So, how do you stand out? In this video, I'll share seven tips with you that will increase the odds of launching a digital product that people will actually pay for. I've learned these lessons from creating and selling more than a dozen digital products that generate six figures a year. So, let's get started with tip number one. Commit to excellence. So, ask yourself, what is my purpose as a digital entrepreneur? Now, if you answer, oh, I just want to make some cash, man, then digital entrepreneurship will not make you rich right away. You know, maybe you could try hopping on the next money-making scheme on Reddit or uh, on TikTok or whatever it is. Um, because a business does not exist to generate money. That's not the goal of a business. You know, Peter Drucker, one of my favorite uh, business thinkers, uh, said it really well. He said that the purpose of business is to keep and create a customer. It's about the customer, right? Uh, but here's the thing. You can't create or keep a customer if your business doesn't provide any value, right? That's the, that's the main thing, right? And that's only just average value. You've got to blow away your customers with value. And you can only do that by committing to excellence. All right, here's tip number two. Create something you know a lot about, right? So think about what a business is, right? Customers pay you uh, because they know you can do a job better than they can, <laughs> uh, or you can uh, create a product better than they can, right? Um, so customers pay for the expertise and experience and the knowledge that you possess. And what's a better thing to do than something you're already Good at, right? That, that's the whole goal. Um, so we all know how long it takes before we can get so good at something so that we can charge money for it. But I bet that you have at least one thing that you know more about than the average person, right? What is that thing? That's the key here. Figure that out and then turn your expertise into a digital product. All right, so let's go to the next tip which is number three, focus on a broad audience, but offer a very specific solution. So let me give you an example. Now, my favorite meditation app is the Waking Up app by Sam Harris. I just used it uh, as well. Um, the thing is, he goes after a very broad audience, uh, the wellness industry, but his solution is very specific. It's a specific form of mindfulness meditation. Now, meditation itself, is very popular, but Sam Harris's technique doesn't work for everyone, and that's exactly why he's so successful. His app is not for everyone, and the people who actually use it, they love it, and like I said, I'm one of those people, right? So I've tried many different apps, uh, but none of them really stuck with me until I started using um, the Waking Up app. So if you wanna be successful, Pick something that a lot of people are interested in and then offer a solution that's very specific and not for everyone. All right, tip number four, create something people are already buying. Look, you don't have to be the next Elon Musk, you know, to earn a good living online. Uh, a lot of people in the digital entrepreneurship space are obsessed with inventing new shit. But come on. Your chances of succeeding at that, those kinds of uh, ventures are very small. Uh, and I don't want to be a party pooper, but instead just go out and start earning and figure out what people are currently already paying for. You know, I've created more than a dozen digital products and I'm going to be very honest with you. Yep, none of them are truly <laughs> innovative. Uh, the thing is, I just create things that are already proven. That's my strategy. Um, and it's also one of the main strategies that I teach in my course, Digital Business School. 
Um, the thing is that you simply have more odds of succeeding if you create something that people are already buying. You really don't have to reinvent the wheel here. And having fancy and cool ideas doesn't pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? All right, tip number five. Start charging for your products and services early on. So let's say you follow all the previous tips and you come up with a good idea for a digital product. You're very excited. So what do you do? You think to yourself, hmm, what should I do? A lot of people are afraid to start charging for it. Feel, they feel uncomfortable, right? Can you relate to that? Uh, I, I could in, in the beginning as well. So they either make it free or they undercharge their customers. And that business model only works at a gigantic scale. So, you know, think of Facebook or Google who reach billions of people, right? Um, but here's the thing, they sell advertising and that's why they have that business model. But you and I need to charge for our products. So the key is how do you price your products? First, check the existing price range of similar products uh, or services in your market. So for example, if people are offering premium online courses between 200 bucks and 2000 bucks, just start at the lower end. And what you can do, uh, you can gradually increase your prices as you go and as you also improve your product and provide even more value, right? The important thing is that you start charging from the beginning, that's the key. All right, here's tip number six, connect with other entrepreneurs. So most people have the mindset of an employee, you know, they are so used to having a job that they honestly can't think of what it feels like to build a business and to be on their own. Um, and so never talk about your business with those types of folks. Honestly, I'm not joking. Like, you can't underestimate this. I often meet people who say something like, oh, you know, oh, my boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't support me or they don't support my business and they get me down or like, oh, my parents don't get me or like, they don't. you know, of course they don't. <laughs> Only entrepreneurs get it. So get close to other entrepreneurs. And this is why a lot of us are, uh, you know, really frustrated. And you can also learn a lot from just spending time with successful people. It's that famous platitude, right? You're the average of the five people you spend uh, most of your time with. Um, you don't necessarily have to know people physically, right? Uh, to spend time with them. You can also connect with others online, have calls or, you know, join communities or even start a community I just don't, you know, be part of those annoying Facebook communities that people only get, uh, you know, used to promote themselves. Anyway, that brings us to the final and most important tip, which is love your products and customers. So you're in business for three reasons, right? Your products, your customers, and your passion for both of those things, right? If you lose sight of those things, your business will probably not succeed. And that's the truth, you know, because any entrepreneur will tell you that creating and selling digital products is a process. It's not just an outcome, you know. Um, so avoid thinking things like, you know, uh, oh, I just need to make 100 sales in a month, you know, to make X amount of dollars. Then you'll start focusing on the transaction. So instead, look at how you can serve your customers with better products and services and just be there for your customers. That's all. That's the most important thing. And it's a thing that most people don't do. Um, so I hope you found this useful. And if you did, you will also love my free mini course called Wealth Strategies. And in that course, I'll show you the strategies that I've used to become financially, uh, but also emotionally independent. Now, you can get free access to this course. Uh, it's my way of providing value to, do, to you. And just go and follow the link that's in the description and you can get access. Take care.